Hello YouTube. This is Little Italy with a nice little tip for you Linux users out there. Windows 10 might be free for now, but who knows for later. Uh, Microsoft always releases uh, virtual machines that you can download so that web developers can test their web pages throughout various versions of Internet Explorer and even Microsoft Edge. So uh, what we can do here is go to this website up here and select whatever version you want. Obviously you're going to probably want Windows 10 and select the platform which you will probably have VirtualBox. It will come as a single zip file and um, here's a known issue. Uh, this does expire after 90 days, but you should, uh, you know, make a snapshot. Like, make your changes and then make a snapshot, and you'll be able to just roll back to that. So, this is pretty good if you have, like, a printer or if you need to make, use Microsoft Word in Linux. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and download this. Not really sure how big of a file it is. I haven't done that yet. Okay, well it's five gigs. It's going to take about five minutes for me. I will uh, come back when it's finished. All right, we are back. It is nice and downloaded. Uh, just open up the zip file and extract it to wherever you want. I just put it on the desktop here. And what you gotta do is double click on it. And it will self extract. It's a pretty big file. So you'll see this. Uh, yeah, just click import. See how long this takes. Eight. Oh. Okay. Well, this is going to take around ten minutes. So I will catch you when this is finished. And I'm back. It didn't take ten minutes. It lied. But what it did do is put a new VM in my uh, list here. So let's launch and see what happens. I have no idea what it will do. So here we go. I hope it works the first time around. So I think in reality we just added uh, 15 gigs worth of files. So we should probably delete these two after but let me yeah let's check yeah so it's safe to delete these two because it added a virtual hard disk in here but let's get this back all right this is what it looks like at first boot up. So it says to create a snapshot. Alright, so here we are with the conclusion of this video. Uh, as we saw, it activates over the internet, so what I would suggest doing is going into the settings here, when it's powered off, and uh, turn off the network adapter when you first boot it. I would also suggest that you have your um, installers ready and just create like a shared folder between your host and the guest Windows 10 session 
this way you can transfer all the files over uh, or you could uh, enable the USB so that you can install whatever you want to offline then shut down make a snapshot and uh, you should be good to go it only gives you one CPU huh. these are all just the default settings alright so I'm, I'm, I'm going for real now if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you don't give me a thumbs down if you have a comment to correct me in something that's fine too leave a comment below otherwise thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later